All right, he wants to give me the recap. Gosh, uh, who hasn't, I haven't given it in a while. Yeah, yeah you haven't. Okay, does anyone want to, or should I? Go for it, man. I did last week, so. <laughs> All right. So, uh, ELDR. Darkness. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, not king. Uh, so, after, well, barely scraping through a fight against the being beyond various nightmares, uh, our party, due to the actions of our survival expert, Druid, uh, had en encountered a spirit of some kind, of what appeared to be a being connected to this place. Seeing no other alternative but to follow or suffer fates unknown, the surviving members of our party decided to follow him, and in doing so discovered that he appears to be a dwarf, or at least a former dwarf, that came here from a continent outside of our own. But he did, he did so by going under the ocean through something called the, an astral dark. Anyway, point of the matter is that in following these, this being, we entered this place called the Astral Dark, and true to its name, it was surrounded by nothing more than darkness. We cautiously and worryingly uh, continued to follow him until we reached a point of what appears to be an encampment, a rest, something that clearly had signs of this being's relation, because we found another one of his journals there. And we discovered that this form of travel is potentially the way that the church travels around the continent. Uh, so that was something to know. And while we were resting in this unused or semi-used encampment, a weird creature seemed to be surrounding us while we were under what appears to be ice and not ground. And above him, there were other figures and individuals, but we were so wrought with fear that all we could do in this discovery is run. And run we did. Barely escaping its grasp, we dived right back into the dock. And with our newfound guide now seemingly I vanished from us we simply walked until we were able to reach the exit where we swiftly and emotionally opened up to each other or at least opened up to each other a small bit and now we're here. Yeehaw! That's it. Nice ying, nice hawing. Okay. The party returns to the encampment of the White Falls, where there are certainly some things a bit different. The first thing they will notice is that there are a lot more people in the encampment. There is a heavy church presence definable by their presence as you can see that there are flags and even a chapel being built here we go the door opens and you come stumbling out and into the daylight carrying behind you in their bed rolls your fallen comrades and so
it begins. What do you do? All right. Um, it's clearly visible, right? There's just massive flags and stuff coming up. Oh yeah. From over here. There is a heavy church presence now. When you're muted the entire time you're trying to talk. Um, I see them. Yeah. Uh, I can't. No, I just, just for my clarification, I can't sense other people's exposure, can I? As well. Nothing. Nada. Nada. Okay. All right. Um. I. What's everyone's um <clears throat> leans in exposure at? I. I sense nothing. Um. Well, I am very low. Uh, Fabio is pretty high, and that uh, I think Brainor is pretty high too. Mm. There's, there's nothing you can do about that, can you? You know. Unfortunately, no, I cannot. Uh, oh, oh <laughs> God! We have other tokens on the map. I just oh, um, flashed myself across the map. Holy I'm, gonna go, crap. I'm gonna go find him. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me kill these. Shoot them with a gun. Uh-oh. Oh, like um, a part of me just died. Can I? <laughs> You'll want to talk. Ha! <laughs> um, can I? I feel like it's trying to figure out what it is it means to be a blank. So she... I'm curious, can I, like... I place my hand on on uh, I'll go with uh, Fabio's shoulder. Uh, do you do you feel what is this? What do, you, what do you get? What feeling do you get when I touch you on the shoulder? Well, awkwardness because uh, not really used to these kind of connections. Uh, Neither am I. Is there something you're looking for? Insight check. Talking to him. Fabio, make an insight check. Insights. Being checked. How's that? She's totally coming on to you. I'm just kidding. (laughs) How do you feel about her? Hmm? Who do you like? Tell me right now. Um, but in all seriousness, um, it doesn't <laughs> feel any different. Okay. It's just the same as usual. But I, well, yeah, it's, there's nothing wrong. Hmm. I'm just trying to understand what it means to be um, hollow. Um, I would say you probably need to start looking for stuff to f- fill that feeling. Not right. Yeah. That. Hmm. We'll figure it out, I suppose. Right. Um. I will say we might have more pressing matters to attend to. But the overexposure. I look towards um, church presence. That's why I was worried about your exposure. Though I suppose right. we can argue that the creature we fought was. Uh, placing it upon yourself. So there is that. What did we loot from uh, the creature, by the way? Like, I don't... Yeah. I 
God damn it, I'm muted again. Fuck. <laughs> Which one? The Maximuna? Yeah. Um. Two or revive potions, okay. No. <laughs> We're gonna need a little more than that. <laughs> Uh, a disembodied hand. Oh. That's it? Yeah. I'll take mm. it. Uh-huh. Fantastic loose and prices. Mm. I, I added it. <laughs> uh, uh, I will put it under loot. Yeah, do not let anyone see that. Yes. <laughs> I'm, uh, Lawrence, Monty, and Brainor asks what everyone's exposure is at. And these are questions uh, that um, you will not like the answer to. Um, I'm at eight. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna ask for a hand soon enough. Oh, I think we should leave the hand the hands? forward base. No, let's give him a hand! I, I go up behind uh-huh. him. I go up behind him. You're like, you need a hand. And I hold the hand out behind his back. I think I'm tired of more hands than naturally possible. Well, mm. after a long rest, Gunner should be down his, unless that's permanent. That's permanent. It's permanent? Okay. Well, there you go. Well. Uh, okay, then back away. it's a long rest. Okay, oh, like drop mine. Oh, yours is at eight. Yours, uh, yours doesn't drop. <laughs> mine's mine's stuck at it. Fantastic. Eight, Let's not, go. It does not pass. It does not get lower than that after eight hours. Sorry, bud. Hey, listen. We... Yeah, that's gonna take a few days. <laughs> uh, eight is what we, like we to cry. call a fucking lot. Well, maybe we cry we find, together. Uh, just, just to keep a low profile. Who knows? Maybe. It's all good. Maybe they're nice church members. Keep a low pog file. That's a sarcasm if you didn't catch it. I'll start walking Vilia. down. Vilia, sh- uh, how, how's my veins looking in the face? Am I glowing a lot? <laughs> is he glowing a lot? Yes, look at him. <laughs> my you body is covered that up. Yeah. Look what at him. my face? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look at that handsome man. His yeah, you can see a little bit on his face. Uh, also, it's kind of glowing underneath his collar of his clothes. He should probably wear a hood. Mm, you might you yeah, might want I... to um here 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 here. I will put a cloak over my my cloak that I have that I wore. My God, my you could grind meat on those. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That should cover you up enough. That's you might want to look. Maybe some makeup will help cover that up. At the very least, make it a little harder to notice. All right. Sorry, I'm just coming up with ab jokes. God. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well. Um, we gonna go. Don't have much more to do. Update the thing on things. All right, I'll move you guys down there. Whoosh. All right. Well, Lord, help us. Because we clearly struggle to help ourselves. <laughs> Alright, as you make your way down, you can see that there are a number of church members. Uh, one of them is Caius Evenhand, who you recognize as you enter the Deputy Thane's uh, kind of built-in ruinous office. You can see that there are Metharian priests using magic to mend the stone to hasten the process. But there is also... Someone else. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no 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 no. Oh a yeah. Very, a very happy night, maybe. Is it? As you enter, you see this. I... <laughs> Hello. Ah yes, my neck. It feels tight for some reason. <laughs> 
All right, the Thane will look up as you enter, and he will actually look very surprised and very relieved, uh, having seen you enter. Oh my goodness, it is good to see you lot. Come, come, come. It is good to see that you've all survived. Unfortunately. As you enter, there are those being dragged with, you know. Unfortunately, yeah, no, not everyone made it out. My apologies. I. That's what happened? What happened to them? Uh, we <clears throat> encountered a creature that was extremely formidable. It it tore them apart. We barely survived. What manner of creature was it? Does, does it still roam? No. We... I look at, at the sort of clan cyclonar. We managed to coat, but... It's clearly seen at a heavy cost. As you say, a heavy cost. The well-armored men will approach you. Indeed, a heavy cost. That would explain why you are, some of you, covered in wayward mana. Describe the nature of the creature to me. It was, well, I should have had to describe it, it was alien. It was comprised of, well, many, many disembodied hands mm. and was controlled by some sort of crystalline hand on the inside mm. that it was protecting. That sounds... That sounds like an aberration. If you defeated it, then you are to be commended. The good Thane was simply telling me just how useful that you have been and about your battle amongst the demons by fighting alongside my colleague, Caius. I have only just arrived, but already your reputation precedes you. I am sorry that you have lost two of your companions. Were Metherius light, more giving to those that were unworthy, I shall see them return to this world. But I cannot. Yes. Well, I thank you for thought, at least. We thank you. Indeed. However, the Thane was also informing us of your discoveries. I would like to hear a first-hand account, if you would not mind, of what exactly that you have found deep within the city. Well... Where to begin? It is large, massive. Its size is uh, at the moment incalculable. Hold that thought. After Brainer <clears throat> wants to ask the Smiling Knight something. What is it, Hanano? Oh, go ahead. <coughs> After when I brought up Bobby and Robert. He, he was a paladin for Mysterio. I was wondering if you could help me or teach me how to lay him to rest. Of course. His service to the light will be remembered. It is normally a family affair, but if you wish for assistance, young man, then I shall provide it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Yes. Well, um, we found the, the city, um, occupied by uh, many doors who have been cursed. Um, we have 
also witnessed many spider-like creatures scurrying around. We believe these to be the reason these old brethren Thane have been brought to the state they're in now. Uh, there is a central compound, the uh, Fortress District, I think it's what it is. Looks appears to be. Uh, and with three attaching districts, as a forge to the north, uh, to the to the west, there is appears to be a more noble and district that might contain libraries and valuable knowledge of the city. To the east, there is a uh, some sort of mushroom gardens, uh, probably what they used to supply themselves with food and sweet and uh, water. I see. What is your perception of the city? How many do you think it could house? Uh, can I make a intelligence check to try and calculate how many people? Uh, I mean, play, probably a lot. Player intuition. How many do you think it could house? Um, mm. you've you've seen the map. <laughs> lots, lots, uh, thousands. I don't know. We were thousands, you say? So it is no small settlement. No, it is it is a city, a right proper city. I expected as much, but I am unfamiliar with the dwarven structures. Well, indeed, uh, chosen. That is exactly why we have made such great lengths here, in order to establish dwarven dominion and to see our people return to one of their other cities lost beneath the scouring hand of demon kind. Indeed. Mithere remembers her contract with the Dwarven people, and I will be here to enforce it. You shall have the help that you need. Furthermore, I... <clears throat> my lord... My lord chosen. Speak, Caius. Might I, on the behalf of these travelers, request their rest? They carried themselves. They are haggard. And two of them are lost. Surely we can discuss such things when they are ready. The sword seeks to strike, but respects the shield's opinion. Very well. Have your rest. And when you are ready, we will have much more to discuss. And we will put those that gave their lives bravely for this endeavor to a proper rest. Thank you, Lord Chosen. And uh, Philly will curtsy and step back. Wee! Zing! Okay, we have a lot of out-of-character stuff to talk about. Yay. <laughs> Alright, first up, oh, we got two new characters on the way, uh, Nist's character and Avery's character, uh, just so that chat understands what's happening. Um, since Avery can't be here until next week, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to finesse this a little bit. And we're going to take care of their their chapter end stuff this session. And then what we will do is take the break after, since we're going to miss a session anyway. And we will start chapter two with the uh, funeral of Permanio and Robert. And that's what's going to kick that off. So that way Avery will be back with his new character. Uh, Nest will have his new character. And then we'll just pick it up from there. However, there are some decisions that need to be made. The first decision is <clears throat> what faction would you like to curry favor with? Right now, uh, oh, let me get my notes out for you. Um, one 
moment. Can chat still see the screen? Okay. We get to the funky part of town building connections. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. Connections. Yay. Get excited. I'm terrified. Do you see that guy down there? <laughs> you, see, you see that 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 gentleman? That 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 a boy. A boy? Throughout that whole scenario, uh Fabio just had his head down and his hands shaking. That's <laughs> Yeah. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> Sweats is falling past and it's like <laughs> If you just hyperventilating. You. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, yes, Sonano. To some, he is a scary <laughs> lad. To others, he is a smiley boy. <laughs> okay, so there are four factions that are currently available for you to garner favor with. Keep in mind that garnering favor with one may or may not affect your relationship with the others. Everybody with me so far? Mm-hmm. All right, the first faction is the Church of Metharion. The Church of Metharion has been summoned to this area as for the calling of demons, and you proving yourself not only to slay demons alongside church members, but also to hold your own against denizens of the deep and survive, even if by a pirate victory, has impressed them, or at least the Smiling Knight. And as such, as a chosen of her High Holiness, he is elected to give you many benefits. So... If you choose the Church of Mytheria, your benefits are access to their alchemical stores. Anointed oh. equipment. And limited revival. Mmm. It should be noted that you cannot revive those that have died in the previous arc, unfortunately. Fair. Yeah, fair. you don't need for that. However, allying yourself with Metheria means that you will also alienate completely another faction on the table, and that is the Rebel faction. Uh. Next up is Demon's Deep. As you have already proven yourself to the Deputy Thane Shadestone and increased his political power, his friends back home at the court of the Thanes and the Demon's Deep means that he is able to requisition more supplies for your upcoming exploration and expeditions. Specifically, if you choose Demon's Deep, you will have access to their demon slaying equipment. Oh. You will also have access to Demon Slayer feats. Mm -hmm. And also, nice. you will receive. Uh, where is this? Oh. You will also receive access to their smithy. A smithy will be sent. Mm. An infernal smith, specifically. Oh, mm. gosh. Selecting mm. Demon's Deep, however, alienates Mornhow. Which is one of which is the one of the other factions. Okay. Ooh, that's, an, that's an interesting dynamic. So, Mornhow has heard of your feats. They have heard of what is happening within the Twisted Pines and out of other such uh, problems that have occurred. 
uh, Mornhal has called out for aid. Specifically, or excuse me, has, call, has called to offer their aid. Specifically, what they seek are the military arms and indeed the blueprints of the ancient dwarves in order to assist and help them with their coming confrontation with their uh, exiled prince. As such, their request for you is that they will need you to continue to search and bring them blueprints and give them copies of such things. And if you do so and enter this alliance with Mornhal, what they will offer you is ancestral weaponry. <laughs> they will give you access to saga feats. And they will also, uh, what is this? They will send you a scald. Which is a battle bar for... that can give you uh, song buffs. Okay. Okay. I was going to ask for a foreign, uh, an uncultured person like myself, what is that? But thank you. Thank you for that, reading. Also, you know, I just wanted to elaborate on what the spitting the infernal one would be. Uh, the infernal smith would give you things like the uh, a, a, basically you would have the ability to work with cold iron and other such rare materials. Mm, that is good. So if you find yeah. any of the um, ancient stores of the forges, in you know. The Forgotten City, you could actually have a smith that can use it. Damn. Oh, that's actually really good. Shit. Uh, Alright, cool. What does the negatives for Mordenhau siding give? Alienates Demon D. Okay, just wanted to clarify that. Alright. And the fourth faction are the rebels. Uh, they are a recent. They are a recent arrival uh, within the Twisted Pines. But specifically, one such individual will end up approaching you in secret, uh, contacting through an animal messenger with um, Gunner, and a man by the name of William Solace offers his services to assist you. In exchange that, if possible, that a new base to the Western Rebels could be made within the Forgotten City. That's their goal. If you choose to allow this to happen, then you will ally with the Rebels, which gives you some crazy shit. The first thing you get access to is a Druid Circle. So a Druid Circle gives you all kinds of stuff like... Um, Magical enchantments for weapons. Uh, it can give you buffs. You can affect the land. There's a lot of stuff you can get out of a druid circle. Mm. Uh, you'll also get access to spirit feats. Mm. Uh, you will have a master druid be available to your party. Uh, this means that not only will Gunner have a teacher, which will give him access to some nifty things, but you will also have someone that can cast the big druid spells on you. However, choosing this option alienates the Church of Mytheria. Man. So, four yep. factions, one choice. Fuck. You had to pull the, 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 the spirit feats on me, didn't you? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I had, to, I had to make the options good. I hmm? know, uh, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, Church okay. gave you uh, access to alchemical stores. They had, gave you access to anointed equipment. And they give you limited revival. So, it's actually pretty decent. Yeah, they're uh, all really good choices. Yeah, they're all really good. Oh, here, good. here, um, let me... I actually typed out all this stuff for you guys. In my, oh, short, in my shorthand. So, if you can't... Aww. If you don't understand anything, let me know. Yeah, thank you, Arcade. Much oh, here. Oh, 
Oh, and I gotta remove some of this stuff because it's written in my central notes. Let me just delete some of this shit. <laughs> Can't let them know that. The, the forbidden notes. The forbidden notes. Can't let them know that. Let me see, let me see. Can't let them know that. Oh my god, I, I, tried yeah. to, I tried to do this and I fucked it up. Hold on, I'm just... <laughs> Um, so, so far... There you go, it's right. in notes. Alright. Alright, cool, there it is. So far, what do you guys think? When I, when so, I hear... no feats from the church, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's resources. No, you get, you get items from the church. Yeah. Yeah. But... There may be potential. Like you get access to the big, the big potions like elixirs and haste. fucking haste and yeah, yeah, Ooh. you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, like oh. giant or giant strength, which you know Hanano have his nipples hardened at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> giant strength potions on fucking brain or oh my god. Um, hey yo, I no. think, hey yo, shoots, bro. I just drink this and I turn into a giant. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's um, a heck of a pre-workout right there. That's a heck of a. Pre <laughs> I know, right? Did he just he just drinks protein powder and just goes at it, dude? <laughs> you can touch diamonds with how hard my nipples became. <laughs> Hey, whoa! Did he say? Did he say giant strength potions? Whoa! Hold on, guys. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Uh... <laughs> um, I think so. So. Uh, yeah. He's so. like, hey, let's not be too hasty. <laughs> <laughs> um. Shit, this is hard. Uh, this is really hard. Yeah. Well, take I... your time. Talk it out. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, okay, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll start us off here. Uh, I would love to work with the Demon Steep because we need a smith now that Romano is not around anymore. <laughs> we need someone to fix our shit. Um, but... Well, the smith is on the way. Bro, just, too soon. Too get soon. A meta smith. Uh, <laughs> um, the, the Dwarven Smith is still on his way. Yeah. He's but probably if you go with Demon Steep, so. you get a better smith as well. Yeah. Um,. <laughs> M m like that's true, it's, uh, but yeah, better shit is good it's for our fighty boys, which I think most of us are going to be fighty boys, still. Um, but um, for me personally, like for a character, character-wise, really would be interested with working with either the church or the rebels. But that's that's for her own selfish reasons. Yeah, again, I was kind of biased on this one. <laughs> there's a little, it's like, a little see, see bias. It would be um, very hard. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah. two. Uh, what what are you, what are you feeling? I think the uh, easier thing that you guys should do, pick the one you don't want. Metevia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. I was gonna say me uh, Monhound, but uh, I mean. Mordha would be also good. Like, like, I, that, and that's, that's, that's the one I don't want. Yeah. Oh, that's one you don't want? Oh. Yeah. I, I personally don't want Mordha because if we... Like, the issue is is we need to look at it from a political standpoint as well because if we align ourselves with the church or Mordha, um, of those, we might get dragged into the conflict to the north of us, potentially. That's all. Uh, that's pretty sure so we will. I mean, yeah. We, but we like, are too like, close to avoid it anyway, but... Uh, true, yeah. true. Yeah. Um, and the chest is already here, so... Yeah, like... Okay, so... So... Like, even if we choose to, uh, form an alliance with the Wibbles, that the chest is still here. It's not gonna be easy to just get rid of them. We can't say, okay, you guys can leave. They're not just gonna leave. Exactly. And, uh... But it would be very cool to get enchants and stuff, but... Yeah. It's it, it would be hard, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so I I'm gonna do. I think we should maybe do like first get what. Well, yeah. I'm gonna say choose what we do not want. Yeah. What do yeah, we so, not want? 
What do we not want? I think we're all agreed on Mornhow. Materia. Oh. Oh. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> well, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, what about you, Frost? What, what faction do you not want? Uh... <laughs> you mean in character? <laughs> okay, jokes aside. Yeah, um, yes. <clears throat> kind of both. The answer is yes. No, see, the thing is, in character, um, Fabio does not want to be involved in any sort of conflict, right? Yeah, so he would want to avoid So, it. yeah, so either Church or Rebels would be a... would lose a point towards him choosing, just because there's always active conflict happening, right? Yeah, there's a... and then also for, are taken from Church and Mornhow. Yeah, for a similar reason, Mornhow is also... Dropped its stocks considerably, right? Because... <laughs> <laughs> right. Stocks <'Cause>... plummeting. <laughs> let's, let's look. Let's look at this economically, right? Uh, they lost uh, their CEO, right? Uh, a rival company bought them out. And now a, the original members of that company are trying to do a worker strike to fight off the Inquisition. So I, I don't know if I want to be involved in a business that has an environment as volatile as that. That's, That's fucking so... amazing, dude. <laughs> Stocks are plummeting. Yeah. Just fucking going right down the drain. You know, uh, so, so yeah. I think currently... Just based on world events, both in character and just out of out of the other potential choices, uh, I think the one I, I'm least likely to go towards is Mornhow. Sounds like people don't like Mornhow, so we can just take that one off the table. Yeah, we can just. All right, we, I will, we, can't, I will, we can't afford this drop. I will exit out. Much appreciated. Oh wait, how do I slash things? In Discord. Is it this? No. Is it... Is it this? Nope. I don't know how to slash things. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay. Off the table. Get them out. <laughs> you can just buy them out when it's all over. It's fine. <laughs> so the thing with Metheria, they are probably the best boost to us, the biggest boons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're the strongest. Yeah, of course. And there are waiting Amazing here. potions, yeah. Oh, yes! Yes. And we already have a good investment into them, right? But... I like to imagine that the smiling guy's just like standing in the door like, mm, Yes, you want to choose the church! <laughs> but it also uh, alienates the rebels completely, and that's like... Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah. of... Yeah, the only thing that's keeping so... me away from it, really. Yeah. But Church is also the most likely to help us cure the dwarves, if it is possible, at all. Decurse or whatever. My... Yeah, the, the most neutral choices would be Demon Steed. Because yeah. if we get us involved in any conflict, we're already pretty much aligned with them to begin with. If we're just essentially yeah, our deeper ties. Yeah. Yeah, picking Demon Steed would just solidify our alignment with them. Yeah. But I. Mm, but I'm also issues. wondering why exactly does it alleviate Mornhow? Uh, I think it's because um, probably some backstory reasons in, in the world setting. They probably have some beef. Beans. <laughs> beans. Oh, they have beans with each other. Oh my god, that's weird. Time to roll. Time to roll a history check, guys. Let's find out. <laughs> Give me the beans. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's do it now. Though. But yes, sorry. What's, was there an actual um, question? I was being silly. Uh, just we were uh, wondering why there's there's like uh, deciding with uh, Mornhell or Demon's Deep will alienate the other one. Well, I can help you with that. Both of these cities are pretty prominent, and mm -hmm. Demon's Deep does not like to interfere with the politics of others. Mm. It has a treaty with the church, but not with Mornhell, right? Mm -hmm. And doing so means that it would, that if it stayed, it would be involved in the political, like if you chose Mornhell, it would be putting, and if it stayed, it would be putting itself involved in this political altercation, which they don't want anything mm -hmm. to do with. Mm -hmm. And the other way, is is also true is that if you choose demons deep then they would not allow any more more Hallians to be involved because of the direct political nature yeah okay yeah yeah demons deep is also aligned with the church so we won't get the church stuff but we won't be enemies of the church yeah yeah that's true and we could still also, also with their then... new saint you know we uh, we could also then also so loosely have talks with the rebels if that's something Gunnar is interested in. Like well, literally, Demon's Deep is the most neutral. <laughs> yeah, but the church is just too good of listen, a boon. Yeah, no, but listen, mm, no. That's interesting that you say that, Gunnar. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Druid. But oh, guardian are, of the uh, spirits. But oh, are you saying that you prefer the church? Ah, I'm just kidding. Gunner. <laughs> but, places, you prefer the places, benefits. Places, Place his hand on not, not listen. Hey man, I'm... we need to we need to stick to our true neutral ideologies. <laughs> we need to go with demons deep. <laughs> twenty dollars is twenty dollars. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just shaking I, I'm just shaking I, my head in the background. I am um split between the church or the rebels uh from and I have, I'm taking my character into, into this uh but demons deep is also a really good option so that's that's my. That's where I stand. Yeah. I'm split between Demon's Deep and Webos. Okay. Rebels, you say? Rebel scum. Oh. So, I don't- I just don't see how we would <laughs> start the rebel thing. Because the church is not leaving. Yeah. They're building a shrine, so they don't plan on leaving. Yeah, but we'll... Well, the idea want... is that you do it in secret. Yeah, they um... want to build a, a druid circle within the lost city. Yeah, within, the, the, yeah, yeah within the forgotten city. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the intention of that, that you would do it secretly yeah. on, the on the sly, if you will. Yeah, We're sticking like... the special druid in so they can make a teleporter into the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the druids will be inside uh... the city. So we would still mainly be with Demon's Deep, but like our little side gigs with the druids. You know, the little 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 thing on the side yeah. of the The main Army thing is we need well. the Wibbles want us to get a powerful enough druid into the Forgotten into the Forgotten City, past all the church people, so they can start building up within the lost city. Mm hmm Well he could yeah. likely just shift in and fly in, but yeah. Uh with this many guards and there's only well, one entrance. Well, a bird is a bird. Yeah. You, yeah, and that gate is closed most of the time. Yeah, you got, but you gotta remember, bird is a bird, but if the bird doesn't act like a bird. Uh, the bird, a bird, 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 bird is the word. I'm sorry, sorry, it just built up. It just built up out of me. I, it, yeah, I, I felt it coming. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't go and take it away from you! No, 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 no. don't anger him! Don't! <laughs> you know not what you play the... with! There's a reason why the rebels are losing. Toto is displeased. Oh, <laughs> he no. is displeased! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, no, no, what do you think about the rebels' choice? Just in general. Mm. 
I see typey typing. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> listen, listen. What, what is the trip? What is, what is the rebel? What are the rebels done for him? The, right? the, the rebels thumbs down. <laughs> Church, you see, dude, man, I feel like church stonks are just going to go skyrocket. Yeah, you see, yeah, b back to our economic standpoint. Stonks. If we chose to the rebels, it will boost the uh, rebel stonks. Definitely. Oh, that's true, it would. Uh, and, and our sister, uh, sisters are group and bound Just remember, up. I am biased. I, yeah, I am... So am I, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, all right, you know what? I think what we need to do is we need to settle this out with setting up like a top three and then from there. Top, we're not top three out of three. three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then a top two, right? Yeah. Right. And then from yeah. there, we determine. I don't know. Hold on. Wait, wait. Give me a second. But I also wonder one thing yeah. while you're doing that. So let's say we choose a church. We go. A few months, do a few missions, and then suddenly they figure out, oh, we have magic. Do they just kill us? Do they... What do you do? What, 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 what happens? That's like... Alright, now, no. what's Gunnar's opinion about a collar? Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> then there you go, there's your answer. Yeah. I will jump off a cliff before I have to wear a collar. I apologize. <laughs> Wait, but you're not a spellcaster. Why is well, he? Can't cast. Am I not? He, he are you sure? Is. He technically is. <laughs> are you sure about that? Raise his Cackles hands above and head. Bliss. Raise his hands <laughs> above head. Gotta take it away from you. <laughs> Starts making it literally rain, dude. Starts actually blessing. <laughs> um, I think, uh, yeah, I'm... Also, well, if we... How about we vote for the two we want and see what the results well, are? Okay, I, I think, I think what I've been hearing listening to you guys is that you definitely don't want to warn how. It sounds like the rebels are... Their, their stonks are fading. I mean, we got two people. No, no, no. We can build them up. It's it's. No, no. We can build them up. Okay. All right. We we can hook him up to the highway. Yeah. Dark highway. Here's here's what this is, right? It's the rebel. The rebels, right? Or that mom and pop shop that barely makes it every month, that we really really like and wanted to succeed, right? All right. The demons deep is that consistent guy, and then the church is the church. So yeah. All right. Here's what we do. Out of those three. Everybody start typing in chat your top two choices, but don't hit enter yet. This is my favorite way to do it. Now type it in the foundry chat. Mm -hmm. Top two choices, but don't hit enter yet. This way we remove okay. bias. Why is he doing this? I gotta think now. I'm, I'm doing it so we get somewhere. Everybody spoke in their piece, but now we have to... Let the throngs of chance decide. Now we're voting out the imposter. <laughs> yes. uh, wait a minute. Hold Who's on. I gotta, sussy? Let me, let me just... You got my two choices. My Greeks built the bedrock of democracy. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm, I think I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Enter. Well, well, well. Looks like we've got rebels, rebels, rebels. We got demons deep, demons deep, demons deep. And rebels in church, church and church. So it looks like the rebels were chosen four times. And... Church was chosen three times, and Demon's Deep was chosen three times. Looks like the Rebels won. Oh my god, did Rebel Stonks just go up? They definitely oh, did. Gosh. Yep. Oh. That's the little old oh. man at the counter. 
Oh, it's no. just there, like, you wanna help the business, son? <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Take my money! Damn. Wow. Not like this. That's Not crazy. Like this. <laughs> it is crazy. This is, this is, yeah. And we're surrounded by chess members. My cloud giant strength! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> It's okay. My it's gains, okay. bro! <laughs> wait, it's- it, it, dude, 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 Hidato, it's okay, I can learn in large- oh, wait. Hey, Fabio's <laughs> an alchemist, he can probably learn the recipe. You know what? You know what? There's a chance. <laughs> dude. I, I- So chat can't see this, but hinato has got his camera on. And watching him trying to keep a straight face when all this shit's happening around his family, like, like around his students, is so funny. He's a teacher too, and it's so fucking funny. Dude. I saw one of his students come over, look over his shoulders, like, "What the fuck is this?" And he walked. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Hanano? Are you slaying demons? <laughs> <laughs> No, oh no, no, oh, bitch. <laughs> Amazing. I am no longer a swole, dude. I can't believe you would take, you would take away his, uh, his, uh, what, his, pro his protein powder. You take away his protein powder, man. How can he get gains if you don't give him his, his, uh, his wheat? What is it called? He, like, that fucking... His way. His way. His way protein. Way protein. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. All right, yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna give this guy. We're gonna give this guy plenty of. of uh... <laughs> Where's my cloud giant way, dude? <laughs> no, listen. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen <laughs> Nano. I I will. <laughs> Nano, I will make it my secondary mission. Besides the first one, that is survive, to learn how to make cloud giant strength just for you. Yeah, make a cloud. <laughs> Cloud Giant Way, brought to you by Toto Industries. Oh. <laughs> An African company. An African company. <laughs> Toto oh Industries. An African company. I love you guys so Su much. Support. Oh. Su support. <laughs> Supported by the Webos. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's getting more real the more we speak of it. No, oh, shit, it's hitting dude. home. It's hitting home. <laughs> oh, you're, 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 you're actually helped the African guy uh, support the rebels. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> okay, all right. So, rebel stonks gone up. All right, well, you guys chose rebels. That's crazy. I didn't think he was going to choose that other thing. Wild. Yeah. That, uh, that wasn't my first choice, but it was either <laughs> that or the people that got me in chains. So. Oh, that wasn't my first choice. Well, too bad. Get dunked on. <laughs> Just walks into the office. Is like, okay, so I really think we should invest in Demons Deep. Oh, it's okay. I already signed the contract. Oh, you did. With who? The rebels. <laughs> Papers just fall on the ground. What? We can hook up the highway, you know? <laughs> My game! <laughs> Who else has Alchemist Kit? Uh, your brother did. That's so oh, fucking funny soon. to me, dude. That's so fucking funny to me. Too soon. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Anyway. Yo. You have chosen the Rebels. So, because you have chosen the Rebels, there's um, a couple of things that uh, we have to talk about. First is what kind of Druid Circle you want. Oh boy. Does it there happens to be one of Giant Strength. Is, is there one of Giant Strength? <laughs> what options I do we have? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, what are the options? Is there a circle of giving magic back? No? Okay. Well, if anyone can give you back your magic, it's probably gonna be the druid. That's why I was, that's why I was like, between the I, church I know and the... Who. And the I know who and... can. 
we have to play on those, but my character yeah. doesn't. Yeah, uh, but no, uh, that's why I tend, uh, feel it was split between the church and the rebels because uh, she figured if anyone can, it's one of those two factions. Yeah. You thought the church what? was gonna give you back your magic? Nah, uh, she would absolutely <laughs> surrender herself I mean, to work with the church and she could be for that. a paladin, I guess. No, she would still be a wizard. She would just allow herself to be collared at that point. Yes, Revy, she would allow herself to be collared. And let that uh, I don't think do you... That, do I that think there'd be will. a need. I don't think there'd be a need for a collar in your case. Yeah, it's the current just, moment, just, yeah. Just the current moment, yeah, fuck you. Since yeah, you're not you. able to cast magic on your own, I think you would be a paladin because your magic would come from Mytheria. Nah, just be a wizard Or a cleric. I'd be a wizard in Mytheria. I'm about to lose it. I'd be a cleric but just call myself a wizard. <laughs> yeah, just a, ho just a holy wizard. That's all you are. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a white mage. I'm a white mage. No. Bro. Black mage. Black hat all the way. Give me that deep That class hat. has been locked. <laughs> no. This character cannot achieve that class path. My apologies. Mm. I hate that frosty. You're stabbing me in the gut. You're just twisting the knife. Listen. Yeah. Listen, y'all invested. Y'all yeah. invested in the mom and pop shop. When clearly. <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> to the moon. To the moon. We're going to the moon, boys. David here. <laughs> okay, so what we should do is we should open up Rebel Coin. All right. Uh... Oh my god. No. <laughs> Uh, all right, so how about those druid circles? Yeah, about those druid circles. Please. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the list ready. Sorry, I got. No, you're good. It's okay. We're, uh, I'm just, I'm just going at people here for their unwise business investments. Yeah, I'm just watching from the dream. This is great. I'm dead. <laughs> Okay, I have to look at the positives, right? It was it, depending right. on what I chose. It's gonna be church or rebels, and mm -hmm. this is fine. This is fine. All right, guys. Here is your choices. Because you have chosen, here I'm just gonna X out the rest of these because you didn't choose them. Click. Since you have chosen rebels, your druid circle choice is one of the three main circles. They are the circle of glass, the circle of stones. For the circle of waves. Ooh. A quick explanation of what that means and what benefits you can receive from them. So, the circle of glass <clears throat> specializes in natural magic and the construction of armor and equipment through natural magic. It is called the circle of glass because it gives access to wooden armaments, stone armaments, and glass armaments. So if you ever wanted to wield a great sword of glass, there you go. I guess. Mm. Nice. Interesting. What's up, Tyler? Um, so the circle of stones has to deal with the strengthening of, basically, uh, it builds buildings, um, community, and it has a lot of defensive benefits that it can give to you. So if the first one is crafting, the Circle of Stones represents a lot of defensive benefits to keep safeguard your health, like temporary HP, uh, heightened AR, stuff like that. And the Circle of Waves is completely focused on mana and its undulations. So this will increase all of the casters' powers uh, all of the caster power in your group. Does that include uh, Brainor with his only one cantrip? Yeah. Inclu it just, it basically, it's a, it's a mana well, which leads to all kinds of different things. Mm. A mana well. Okay, this is, this, this whole time, I'm just getting slapped in the face. <laughs> Sunny, the... don't jump in the mana pool. <laughs> I, I'm gonna fucking different... jump in the mana pool. <laughs> you too, buddy. <laughs> Does the circles have different values? In terms of uh, culture? They're the three... They're the three... 
circles that rule the Western lands. Which is what the, um, where the druids are. Mm, I, I, I like the circle of ways. I don't know about the rest of you, but I like the circle of waves. I like the glass uh, one because I can't use uh, metal. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm between again bias. glass and mana. I'm leaning more towards mana. Hmm. So just, just to just to uh, recap, right? So the waves, which is magic and mana based. Uh, glass, which is armament and equipment based, so to speak. And then stone, which is right, and then stone, which is defense and AR based. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fortitude. Okay. <clears throat> uh. Oh, uh, I guess I, I should the... mention. I guess I should mention this. Uh, wait, no, uh -huh. no, never mind, never mind. Continue, continue. Yeah, sorry, 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 never mind. Okay. okay. Uh. I think. Equipment is probably one of our most high, like one of our higher priorities. We are Although, really based, yeah, yeah, just We're because going of our, us being a city. Based. If there's any place to learn about crafting, it's in there. Uh, listen, I just, I just think it'd be funny if you went with the uh, glass frosty. So then Hinano, the person who didn't want to go with the ribbles, is forced to choose a circle. <laughs> oh gosh. Love you, Hinano. Love you, man. Yeah. My vote is um, for the mana. Like, the four yeah. of you guys here will benefit from it. The four? Well, I'm not there yet. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, Ophelia. Yes? Yeah. I I I I'm I'm, I'm I'm I gotta keep them in. I, I, I feel I feel like it's important for company morale for us to understand our position and grow from it. <clears throat> are we? Oh uh, my God, are we becoming the corporate fucking sector of, of fucking Corvinus? <laughs> Listen, no. Oh yes, I'd like to contact HR. Uh... <laughs> are you are you surprised? My actual like the first building I recommended was the bloody merchants like. That is true. Like, you like... did. <laughs> Fucking... Fabio over here playing tribute to uh, Mansa Musa, dude. Just just gotta make the <laughs> coins, bro. Listen, bro, we need to make the coins. Let's inflate the economy for like fifty years. <laughs> Oh goodness. Uh but yeah. <clears throat> the reason why the reason why I'm, I'm, I want to confirm this right is because because we're primarily melee, right? The stone one isn't actually a bad decision. Right? Mm -hmm. It's actually more valued for us because we are primarily melee and primarily in the line of fire. Yes. The thing that counters that is the fact that Dwarf city, like Nist said, we don't know what's there, but more likely than not, we're either going to find equipment that is probably a lot more strength based, but still like you need a high vigor to wear, but still better yeah. than most. The, and there's also the point, let me point out, one fourth of the city is for forging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's also so that on top we'll of go it. go well right? with a glass one, right? Because all of our crafting. See, it would work with glass. The problem is, they we're trying to keep the rebel thing a secret, right? So, to publicly craft stuff used in druid craft is yeah, risky to say the stuff. least, right? And yeah, and that's just walking around with glass weapons. <laughs> Uh, Hinano asked. Can we get some more info on the manual thing? Maybe? I can give you no more information than I already said. Hmm. Well, we really. <clears throat> Hinano, we really voted to align ourselves with the uh, Webos.
So we just my only problem. One. Yeah, my only problem with the manor well is that we don't know if if it's because it's 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 mostly mana based, right? We don't know what any um, exposure based effects might occur, especially now that we got the pingers right here outside of, of the, like in our doorstep, just waiting for something to come up. But. <clears throat> that's my own, that's my only problem, right? It's just us taking the mana one, and for some reason or another, it just spikes area exposure more. Yeah, but they will notice eventually. So we just need to get powerful enough to fight them off when they do <laughs> notice. Yeah, that was always the plan. It's always an ultimatum, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we could just kill them. Ah, yeah, just simple. We kill the He-Man. We just hope they go after Mornhau, because obviously, you know, they just leave here and go to Mornhau. That's clearly the better city. They're gonna be now. busy over there anyways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, imagine oh. deciding to try and build a city next to a fucking goddamn war zone. We're so smart, guys. And then we go uh, complete enemies of the biggest faction. <laughs> we came here. Shit, do we came here trying to be Switzerland, but failed miserably. This is there's no there's no neutrality. There is no neutrality. He tries to be Switzerland, becomes Japan. <laughs> Japan. Oh Attacks America. <laughs> we were defeating them. Editors know. They didn't. They did it. Oh my God. But we'll find out if your luck fares better. So, you guys have chosen yeah. the druids, and the circle is. I okay, let, let's just roll out. Let's just roll out stone because that that's clearly not what we want. Do... Got it. Stone is cringe. Stone is it's cringe. Yeah. There's a, there's yeah. enough stone over stone. here for us to stone, get stoned. Stone's related to sand, and I don't really like sand because it's coarse, gritty, and gets everywhere. Okay, Anakin. <laughs> they were I supposed to bring this. balance to the force, not destroy it. I hate you. <laughs> uh, that actually has uh, more sense now. Thanks, rebels. But yeah, let's let's let's. Do we want to just do now. type in our what circle we want, and then sounds like it's time there. for let's, choose a circle and type it, it in. All type right. in your number one choice. That's right, number one choice. Don't hit enter yet. It's time to play a game. All right, everybody got their choices in. Choices in, choices yep, in. Buddy. Yep. Okay, three, two, one, enter. Oh, and no, no, they were, um, the last ones remaining were waves and glass. Crafting or magic? Waves. Crafting or magic. So it looks like glass, glass, mana, mana, or waves, waves, and waves. Three waves it is. Both are good, so that's fine. <laughs> both? Yeah, yeah. Both. Both. Yes, let's do both. Oh, both are yeah. good. Who says we can't I, I, I just further along, anyways? Yeah, yeah, I just don't want us to walk around with potential glass weapons in a yeah, yeah. church with environment. Yeah, church presence around here. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a, a, a oopsie. But, I just imagine glass is a bit lighter than metal, so maybe dual weapon, <laughs> dual wielding, All like, right. cleaves. All right, that's stuff. it for that first bit of logistics. We've got that chosen. Uh, spirit feats will be when we actually start. So when you guys start your next chapter, you'll be level four. And, and uh, during the break, I'll be releasing the feats, and you guys will get to look at the ones that you want and all that stuff. Uh, the last thing that I have to do is there is one more piece of logistics that we have to take care of. And that is a mysterious stranger that comes to visit Ophelia. Uh, oh. Yeah, let me just drag myself away. I'm over in the next building over. Yes, go to the meeting room. Do we want to make this the meeting room? <laughs> <laughs> or, or should I go to the bench of contemplation? 
The seed of oblivion. Oh gosh. The seed of oblivion. The seed of oblivion. Oh, no, no, the seed of oblivion. <laughs> Not yet, here, Nano. Not, not yet. We got the seat of oblivion. What do you, what do you mean? We don't need a meeting room. We have the seat of oblivion. Okay. I'm so nervous. One moment, please. Oh, uh, yep, you got it, boss. <laughs> Another thing, I guess, that's a bonus for the for the rebels is uh, we get a druid teacher for our druid. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, we still have the anointed plate armor too. Everybody. Okay. Is it a bad time to say that this is the worst moment because I have to pee? <laughs> Go pee. Yeah, a little time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, this will happen a couple of days after you come back and everybody's recovering and deciding what to do. Okay. While off pondering what you're going to do, what with your missing magic, someone who came in with the church splits off from their encampment and approaches you. They wear heavy clothing that seems reminiscent of the large lake area to the southwest. It seems that they wear several bandages over their clothing as well as underneath it. Stout leather armor can be seen, barely visible beneath that of a heavy trench coat and an elaborate hat. A mask of iron and steel surrounds the person's face as they approach you, and on their bracers you can see the symbol of the city of Isola.
One moment, please. Just one more moment. Mm -hmm. I guess to, to fill the air. Uh, well, when this person's approaching, Philly is probably looking at the uh, mask that you got from when we fought the Calgax. And this just very hollow expression, very like motivation and will is left. This man approaches you, Ophelia. You see this. Let me show everybody. I believe the artist is named Majiro. Majiro? The man approaches you with a very soft step, stands before you, and states in a very quiet voice, Why so glum, sugar plum? Uh, uh, sorry, um, just grieving. Weren't you one of the ones that came back with a great victory? Grieving for your fallen friends, no doubt. No. Oh? And what yes. sorrows have claimed your heart? I have lost a piece of myself. I see. Well... I guess I'll make introductions to start off, seeing as how you're in a disheveled state. My name is David Tran, at your service, as he takes off his hat and gives a bow. And I am the captain of the Black Tears, servants of the Duke of Isola and the Weeping Blades. And you, my dear girl, have a blessing. A blessing that I wish to turn into a weapon. I'm sorry, a blessing. You, th you think this is a blessing? <laughs> I know it is to be one. Well, you see, the Black Tears are comprised of all those that follow the same path. We're just like you, girl. Just like you. Are you thoughts? that part of your essence either removed or taken from you? Each tear's got its own story. Some tears fall from sorrow, others from anger, others from pain. But we're all the same.
what if you shed no tears? <laughs> I've never been one for a philosophy too literal. So I'll cut it straight to it. You don't got no magic no more, girl. Quite the opposite, in fact. You're a blank. And the way I look at it, you got a number of ways you can approach that situation. That little conundrum, as it were. You could choose to wallow in your self-pity, lamenting that you don't have something, or understand that it's the absence of that something that makes you special, makes you more than you were before. choice is yours. If you feel like making a difference and unlocking your true potential, come see me before I leave in a few days. If not, I'll leave you to wallow. Well. My choice is I have two. I grieve not to wallow, but to think and contemplate what my next course of actions are. Yes, I am no magic. Stolen from me, taken from me. But your words carry truth. To sit and idle, to waste away, is to not make progress. This is something, un for to me at least, unexplored. I will take your offer. I see no reason, I have no other option. Well, you got plenty of options. I'm serious, do. you do, and I don't take the desperate. If you walk the path that I show you, understand that it will be hard. Ain't gonna be no time for this belly aching, that's for damn sure. I'm not desperate. <laughs> you lie to yourself. I can smell it on you. Don't lie to me. I mean, you definitely shouldn't lie to yourself. Hell, I dare say you'd be willing to take a collar, wouldn't you? Be a dog of the church to get your magic back, wouldn't you? Affiliate. Eye twitches and she clenches her, her jaw. You alright? Ain't no need to be ashamed, girl. Being desperate's fine. I just don't want any of it near me. If you're looking to be a blade instead of a dog, you come follow me. If not, I'll leave you be. And he'll turn, and he'll walk away. Slowly. I think it will follow. And as she does, she will take the mask and place it over her face. All right, listen up, champ. Mm. You got some major decisions to make. Okay. So, mm. Over the course of your transition, uh, if you want to walk a Blake's path, so there's a number of things that you get access to. Um, <clears throat> because the captain of the Black here has approached you, your options are simple. There are uh, 
there are two options for you. You can either be a rogue or you can be a fighter, both of which have a special blank subclass. To give you the rundown, the fighter version obviously is going to be more based off of using your anti-magic abilities to face against opponents. Uh, and also, at higher levels, much higher levels, the exploration of a forbidden substance known as Negatia. The second is to become a rogue, which is a direct assassin in employ of the Weeping Blades. A black tear, specifically. Well, the other one's that, too, but this is an actual assassin assassin. Uh, and in which you will actually be focused on using your anti-magic abilities uh, to... You're basically going to be a souped-up silencer rogue. Mm -hmm. Using your anti-magic abilities to prevent casters that you attack from dealing damage and also to bypass their defenses. And you will also, at higher levels, uh, use negatia. Okay. Um... You'll also be given attribute retraining as well. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I'll go with the rope. Yeah. Well, I'm going to write both of them up, and you get to choose which one you want. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, that is not a... I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, don't, don't make that choice. Don't jump, don't jump. And I'm assuming the other option is to join the church and get collared. The other, the other option is to do whatever you want. Church can't mm. give you your magic back. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, uh, well, there is one option. I, okay, in all honesty, there is another option that you can use your arcane skills, and that is you can become a practitioner. Hmm. Which is technically a church-affiliated uh, choice. Okay. And practitioners are monks. Ah. Uh, I think I'll stick with the uh, Living Blades. This is a fun route. With the black tears? This is tears? unexpected. Right. Yeah, the black tears. Black tears, baby! Yeah, I'll still look at both the fighter and rogue options. Alrighty. Lock the fuck in. Yeah. Locked in. Okay. Well, that being the case, let's see, let me make sure I've handled all the other logistics. Um, yeah. No, not him. What are you doing there? <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, I guess we'll go over the next few options. So logistically speaking, depending uh, based off of the faction choices that you made, uh, you'll be getting a you'll be getting a set of rewards and loot based off of that. But seeing as how we are missing two characters, um, I think it's best that we wait till everyone's here. I'll have all of that new equipment ready for you uh, by start. But I think we've come to the end of the road for now, guys. Uh, let me choke everything, make sure I didn't miss nothing. Wait. I don't think God. so. God. Mm. My token isn't witty? Your what? My token. What about your token? Uh, this wasn't say if we're going to introduce him this session or not. Do you have the token? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't... I don't have it either. Alright. Did you send Next the art? Time, then. Yeah, I, I sent you art as well. Let me check. Oh! 
Oh! Oh, okay. Uh, I fucking completely missed that. Um, bro, he's got heterochromia? That's pretty sick. Oh. Well, we'll just we'll introduce both characters at the next time anyway. It's also Fair gonna enough. it's also gonna change what your starting equipment's gonna be based off of the faction choices made today anyway. So. All right. Yeah. So it, it'll be able to start with some masterwork gear. What was your class again? Fighter. All right, fighter. Yeah. And and uh, Avery said he was going rogue, right? Human rogue. That's all he said. Hmm. Interesting. Right, well, the next thing... Tanks to no tanks. Uh, the next thing that we would do is the funeral, but we want everyone there for that, and Hanano in a place where he could actually roleplay without children screaming through the mics. So, uh, that is where <laughs> yeah, I will... that's fair. That is where I will call this session. Uh, I well, need new art. So, yeah, chat, we, uh, we talked about this before game started. We knew it was going to be a short one. To get everybody yeah. caught up on some stuff, though, um, so this group's timing is going to be changed around a little bit. So... This group's next session is the 17th. Yes, 17th. Uh, so September 17th. By then, Avery will be back, who's on uh, military leave. Hanato hopefully won't be in a gymnasium fighting thousands of children. And we'll be able to have... Uh, we'll have the funeral that will say goodbye to old characters, introduce new characters and begin the next plot line. But I do have one more decision that I need you guys to make. What district are you going to attempt first? Uh, are we sticking with the fortress or going somewhere else? No, 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 not at the fortress. No, 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 no. So no, the no, fortress no, no. was the final boss, correct? Yeah. Let's go. And the the, oh. the ziggurat, uh, that's where the it is. The fortress district, yeah. Uh, for, for... For helping purposes, let me do this. This is appreciated. There you go. The mess of that. Yeah. Uh, just to confirm, in terms of where the, the druid put all their, their funky business, uh, do we say or do they choose? They, uh, here. This is the forest. This is where the grove goes. This is area. Well, that's uh, the district right here. Yeah. yeah they, they go with the shrooms. Nice. Probably take that's... that first. Yeah, you guys have already been there too. Well, not for long, but you've been there before. So let me explain yeah, what yeah. I mean by taking the districts. In order to access the main ziggurat, you, may, you need pass stones, right? Which are only available in the three other districts, which need to be conquered first. Because you need to be able to get the stones so that you can open the way into them, right? Yeah. So I, I say we go either Noble District or, yeah, Forge District. As a reminder, Noble, Forge, and Forest. We did choose the druids, so maybe we should go the forest first. Uh, that's true. Forest, and it would also allow us to just kind of stay down there if we can secure the food. We just, yeah. we wouldn't have to. Just leave. never come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never and, come and, back. And that would also secure the passage into the uh, astral dark. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which so, we could then literally never go back. So the forgotten forest. Yep. So which part was blocked off again? Was it here or was uh, it here? Right here. Or here? Ah, okay. No, that area. So that's why you have to go around. So it's also the felt away from the church. Yeah. So. All right. In that case, <laughs> next time we meet up will be for Forgotten City, Shroom and Gloom. Yeah. Oh, oh, good. Oh, yeah. I, or I might call it, I might just call it. The Forgotten Forest? Shroom no, I might, I, I might just call it Gloom. Ooh, yeah, gloom. That sounds better. Shroom and, Shroom and Gloom's a little too silly. A little too silly. I don't want it to be silly. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Let's see if there's any fan art.
Any fan art? Any faux art? <laughs> More than house stocks taking the fattest L. Yes. I, I will show off more Waymaker art because he is the boy. Yes. Waymaker. He really is, man. And he's gotten better, too, like, over the time of just, like, drawing for us. Same with, yeah, same with Avoided. He's just rocking and rolling, dude. Mm -hmm. Both of them are just really... So first up we have is Mornhal Stocks taking the fattest L. And fucking Gunner, dude. So hot. Why? Oh. <laughs> like, for... oh my god. <laughs> Look at his staff, bro. Mm. I need to wash my clothes on those abs. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the subs. Thanks for all the follows. Thanks for all the playing uh, players. Um, as a reminder, our next session is the 17th. Um, September. Oh, shit. You guys have your, your YouTube thumbnail. Oh, Look at that. You do? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not on stream. I'm not on stream. Hold, hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh. Did it this good? Oh. Yo! Look at how sick that is. That is sick. Nice. Very cool. Dude. Bro. Although, these two. <laughs> oh. Falling. Kind of happens when you fight a boss with an instant kill move. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> well we have three weeks till the funeral. You guys didn't have we... to fight all those hands. And he said, fantastic loot, and then we got a hand. I don't know, man. It... I, 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 I <laughs> just have because a hand. It is fantastic loot. You just haven't activated it yet. Okay. I will be the one mm. to activate it. <laughs> Me. He says, fantastic. Yeah, activate the hand, and you'll see. How about that? Yeah, yes. I guess. Yeah, all right, fine, jeez. No, I activate the hand, I activate the hand right now, Arcadum. Right. Uh, too late. Session's over. It's a fucking... Oh, sorry, bye!